Welcome to the Masked Leader. Good morning everyone, it's World Book Day 2021 and for one day only, the staff of St Wilfred's will be putting masks on as we play The Masked Reader. You'll hear a clue from a member of staff followed by them reading their favourite book. If you can guess the member of staff then you get one point. Let's play The Masked Reader. It's the unicorn of the sea, it's Nowell. Hi, you'll find me in here every morning with a smile on my face. But don't be late because I will always know. Now you really are ready, said the fairy godmother. Have fun. Just remember one thing. You must be home by midnight. When the clock strikes 12 and all my magic will end, your coach will turn back into a pumpkin and your beautiful clothes will once again be rags. What book is it and who am I? The next person eats for nearly 16 hours each day. It's Panda. Hi, I have worked at St Wilfrid's a long time. I don't work in Key Stage 1 or Key Stage 2, but you will see me around school most days. She used her spear to leap over her attackers. She danced her way past clumsy attacks. She hid under her shield, then jumped out to take her attackers by surprise. She earned the respect of her fellow soldiers. They still had no idea she was a young girl. They clapped her on the back and said, what clever tricks you use. Reading next, it's shocked face. A clue about myself is I teach in one of the new classrooms in school. When Elliot wished upon a star, he didn't expect a constellation to crash into his dung heap. Virgo thinks she's perfect, Elliot doesn't. Together, they release Thanatos, evil demon of death. Epic fail. They need the king of the gods and his noble steed. They get a chubby Zeus and his high horse Pegasus. Are the gods really ready to save the world? And is the world really ready for the gods? No need to look so shocked, shock face. You did great. It's time to get back in the saddle with horse. Okay, hi everybody. The clue about me is you will find me at the very end of school. Plus I've also been here for a very long time. So the book I have chosen is about a young girl called Tally who has autism. It is written as a diary and she explains how it feels to be autistic. This book is for older children in year 5-6 because Tally tells us all about her time leaving primary school and going to high school. Looking pretty in pink, it's Flamingo. Uh, hello boys and girls, my clue is my accent. London, 1922. A discovery from ancient Egypt, a cursed package, the untold story of a young pharaoh. When Lillian Kay finds a parcel on her granddad's doorstep, she is shocked to see who sent it. A famous Egyptologist found dead that very morning, according to every newspaper in England. Always happy, always smiling. It's happy face. Hello everybody. I feel extremely privileged to have the job that I do at this outstanding school. Mr and Mrs Twit are really disgusting. They smell because they never wash. They fight because they play tricks on each other. And they hate children. But worst of all, they keep monkeys in their back garden, in cages. It's time for the monkeys to get revenge on these two most revolting creatures. Now it's time for my favourite chocolate bar, 
It's Penguin. I've been at St. Wilfrid's for a very long time. You might see me leading Key Stage 2 worship, and you might also see me on Key Stage 2 lunch duty. I also teach some of the older children. Have you ever wanted to turn into something else? I bet it wasn't a tortoise. This is the story of a very shy man who's in love with a very kind woman and of the small tortoise who brings them together. Why do polar bears not eat penguins? Because they can't get the wrappers off. Here's polar bear. I have been at St Wilfrid's for three years now. A Roman boy named Tranio tells the story of what happens in the city of Pompeii when Mount Vesuvius erupts in AD 79. With the ground shaking and the sky growing dark, Tranio and his friend Livia flee to the harbour where they witness the destruction of their city. The next person smells a lot nicer than their mask does. It's skunk. My job in school isn't to teach lessons, but it's to be around the infants and the juniors to make sure that everybody's feeling okay. Who am I? When newly orphaned Mary Lennox arrives from India, everyone at Misselthwaite Manor thinks her a most disagreeable child. Then one day she finds a garden that has mysteriously been kept locked and hidden for 10 years and with the help of Dickon and her spoiled cousin Colin brings the secret garden back to life. Owls know that it's wise to read so next up it's Owl. You can find me anywhere in school. I'm usually in your class if your teacher isn't there. Oi, frog! Sit on a log, said the cat. But I don't want to sit on a log, said the frog. Logs are all knobbly and uncomfortable and they give you splinters in your bottom. I don't care, said the cat. You're a frog and you must sit on a log. Did you know that raccoons have been around for 40,000 years? Here's raccoon. This raccoon has taught at the school for a long time, in classes from reception all the way up to year six. Can you guess my book? This book introduces Mowgli, the human foundling adopted by a family of wolves. It tells of the clash between him and the tiger Shere Khan, who killed Mowgli's parents, and of the friendship between the man cub and Bagheera, the black panther and Baloo the sleepy brown bear, who instruct Mowgli in the laws of the jungle. The scariest of all our masks is up next, so look away if you're easily scared. It's Lizard. I'm here for part of the week, but not all of the week. I share a class. If you've met the world's worst children, get ready for something much, much worse. The world's worst teachers, you've been warned. This person never forgets. It's Elephant. Bonjour les enfants. You used to see me all around school teaching classes in Key Stage 1 and Key Stage 2. But now I am based in one classroom in Key Stage 2. Who am I? Au revoir. Just imagine suddenly knowing you may be eaten for breakfast in the very near future. Dropped like a rasher of bacon into a frying pan sizzling with fat. This is exactly what worries Sophie when she is snatched from her bed in the middle of the night by a giant with a stride as long as a tennis court. Our next masked reader chomps on wood to keep their teeth looking good. It's Beaver. You might find me on the playground at lunchtime catching a ball. My name is Percy Jackson. I'm a modern day demigod, the son of Poseidon. I've had some bad experiences in my time, but the heroes I'm going to tell you about are with original old school hard luck cases. So get your flaming spear, put on your lion skin cape, 
polish your shield and make sure you've got arrows in your quiver. How do you make an octopus laugh? Give it 10 tickles. Here's octopus. Hello boys and girls. Well, you might find me in the dinner hall up at Key Stage 1. You might find me in one of the classrooms. That could be anywhere in school. Or you might find me leading your worship. I've been at our school for a very long time. A little old lady lived all by herself with a table and chairs and a jug on the shelf. A wise old man heard her grumble and grouse. There's not enough room in my house. Wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Our last person is Rawson, it's Tiger. I may not see you every day at the moment, but you see me every Tuesday on the screen. Soon, her eye fell on a little glass box that was lying under the table. She opened it and found in it a very small cake, on which the words, Eat me, were beautifully marked in currants. Well, I'll eat it, said Alice, and if it makes me grow larger, I can reach the key. And if it makes me grow smaller, I can creep under the door. So either way, I'll get into the garden and I don't care which happens. That brings us to the end of The Masked Reader. How do you think you've done? All will be revealed this afternoon as we unmask our masked readers. Good luck everyone and I will see you later on.